Am I a frog? Am I a fish? Or am I both? Or does it even matter? I'm a pain to deal with. Hey guys, and welcome back to Making Pressure Creatures in 3D. Today, we are making Frogger. You guys have had a lot of discussion about this in the comments and all of the stuff. It is insane. I freaking don't even know like what to do with this creature. I had a lot of thought and you can actually see in the background that I am streaming, which I'm always streaming on YouTube. Uh, just at random times, just, you know, catch me when I'm streaming. Anyways, but the first half of this stream was trying to figure out if this guy was like a, what type of frog was he or even if he was a frog. What? It was a very strange thing to kind of go through because I love you guys always chatting and talking about and like we're, we're figuring this out together, but it, it, I feel like it shouldn't be that confusing, but if you guys know exactly what fish he is or frog he is, go down in the comments. And I would very much suggest uh, you guys to go to the Discord server because that's the, you know, I bet you could find somewhere like the devs saying, hey, you know, this frogger's this, frogger's that. Um, and please make sure if you do discuss it in the comments, be kind. But anyways, um, but yeah, we're, we're just starting out with this. I actually streamed it and in the middle of my stream, it crashed. So I freaking died on me for some apparent reason. So whoopsies. I don't know what was like hitting me or like what was happening, but I was like really tired this stream. And, you know, sometimes when you're just tired, you can't kind of like focus on what you want to focus, which I wanted to go focus on the model. So I kind of, in my opinion, started out pretty bad was like the base modeling and it's always good to start with a good base. So I think it was okay. But after, after the stream, you know, I did some off screen mining and I freaking, you know, made it look a lot better in my opinion. You'll see how many times that I went back and forth because with a lot of these models, it is so hard to deal with this like crap, especially when the frog doesn't even know if it wants to be a frog or if it wants to be an angler fish. Oh, hi. Wait a minute. Who are you? Or if it wants to be both. Like, what the heck? Make up your mind, dude. I couldn't even figure out why this was going on. So, you know, I just had to take it step by step. And in the end, you'll see how it really comes out. see here that I'm kind of just mainly sculpting in like all the skin wrinkles all the stuff and I did add a tail because you guys very much suggested to add a tail and I totally see why I made it look more frog like in the end too and I wanted to really show the skin wrinkles and like their like grossness of this like wrinkly skin that he has because you can't you that just shows a lot of character in this but I kind of also wanted to show the sliminess of this creature. Here you can kind of see that I'm like really working on the light bulb because trust me guys, you guys have told me that he has a light bulb and that makes it a girl now. So I really appreciate it, but my God, apparently it's a girl. But yeah, I kind of struggled with uh, extending the light bulb out of the skin because right now what I use is multi-mesh and multi-mesh is really helpful and good but it causes problems, especially if you try to change the mesh, like in editing mode. I, I, I now realize that I didn't even realize that before and I was shocked, but apparently it changes and ruins and messes up the model. So always remember that if you use multi resolution or multi mesh or whatever, 
make sure to kind of know that you're at your kind of final point of the base mesh and then add it later because it will cause some problems. So here I am actually putting in one of your suggestions and that is the fact that a lot of you guys were mentioning that it might be a viper fish or some type of mixture of fish or an angler because it has the light on it. So I kind of mix mixed some of the parts of a fish that I would think a fish would have. That's why the arms are bigger and like look like more like fins the back legs are more squished up and not really fully being used then and it has a tail with two well, well it will have a tail with like a heart-shaped fin coming out of it and right now i'm working on the back fin that's because it's well a fish from what i understand it might be like a mutated fish that is also just random side thing which I, 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 you could see it in when I was like putting up all the references, but like when you're in like iron lung, that fish that just jump scares you at the very end. 295 confirmed beautifully. Oh! oh! It freaking, like, for some apparent reason, that's the fish that Frogger is. Frogger is the fish from Iron Lung. And on top of that, it's a mirrored, mirrored freaking viper fish. I learned this all on stream, which you can go watch if you want. But, oh my god, man. The research, the lore, the lore. I do this for you guys. Make sure to subscribe and like horribly disfigured and this like a weird mixture of a frogfish that maybe even the facility itself have been testing on and experimenting without, of course, its consent, you know, because this is how these type of things go. And maybe that what is your series? Put them down in the comments. And kind of like the design process of this crazy freaking frog that you have here is you can see that the teeth here, they're pretty mirrored. Like you can kind of obviously see that they're mirrored. Later, I will change them off camera and actually go and like figure that out and change a little bit because in the, in the original, it is still mirrored, but it's not too much mirrored. Um, the main point that I'm going to focus on in this like section of the video is the freaking texture. Okay, a freaking texture. It was so freaking aggravating and I don't know why. I don't know why it was aggravating. But well, like I could. Uh, well, well, I let me just tell you. So with the original like texture of Frogger, it has this kind of like gradient where it has a front to be like green and the back is like maybe you know this like brown and then goes into blue and then goes into like purple a little bit like very random shades and it's all nice and good and i could paint that back in but i, I prefer to you know texture you prefer to use generated textures and all that stuff and i don't mind using that and i did paint a little bit but it was just kind of aggravating because I wanted to go and figure out this kind of realistic sense of it. And it was a lot 
more surprising than I would like, like aggravating surprising than you than I would expect it to be. But in the end, I did figure it out, which um, you'll see. I had a lot of warts, a lot of these like gross bits to it, a lot of different colors, and it really added to it. Also here, you can see that I'm adding the lips, which, um, you know, just my typical monster skin texture that I, you know, added. I gave him some like grainy, very, um, clearly he needs some chapstick. My goodness gracious. He got some weird, weird freaking lips. But, you know, I love the design. I love the original design, but I want to stay kind of tr most, mostly true to it. And then, of course, kind of reimagine what the entire body would look like. So tell me how I did. You can see here I am finalizing with the eyeballs and well I guess I'm about to get to it but I you know I flatten the eyeballs down where I guess we are flattening it down and I make it all 2d and I then add a texture which is just the original texture or like original picture so because I want the eyes to be as accurate as possible now I could of course paint that in but in my opinion, there's no need, and I want to make sure that there's very accurate eyes. I just line, line it up right here, as you see, and put it in, and adjust it slightly. Make sure it's all looking good, and in the end, it, it looks great, you know? Now for what I think is the most fun part of this entire creation. Now, of course, making it, modeling it, texturing it, really, really designing it, it can be very fun for a good amount of people and, you know, really trying to go back and forth and all that stuff. It's really good. And I, I, I love it, you know, but the lighting, the, the, this is where you get to show the character, the, 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 the maybe how evil it is with red lights, maybe how good it is with blue lights, with more colorful pink, you know, more kind light, kind lighting, or um, maybe show that like kind of darkness with like some very subtle lights. It's very interesting when you get to the lighting. And right now, which I do a lot of times, is that I kind of figure out like what does the face look like and how does that like kind of light bounce around it. Then later, right here, I do 3D three point lighting, which is where you put uh, two, pretty much two points in the back and one in the front for all of that. I'm pretty sure I could be wrong. Uh, hopefully, my AV teachers, audio visual teachers, are not failing me right now and mad at me right now. But after when I got the lighting where I kind of want it with this blue and orange lighting with a little bit of red, I now go into. Rigging and rigging can be very tedious and annoying, but you can also it feels very rewarding when you start posing it into that pose into that lighting pose and I Love it. I really hope that you like the design when it fully finalizes it. Please tell me how what you think about in the comments. It is Probably one of my most challenging creatures I've made yet Okay, I'll skip all this kind of boring, you know, posing and a little bit of stuff. Of course, if you want to hear more about it, go check out my other videos. But 
Time for the beauty shots. Here we go. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and enjoyed watching this because it was really, really fun making it. And I had a lot of time, a lot of, a lot of good time, a lot, a lot of fun, good time uh, making it. And I want you guys to tell me what you think in the comments and of, of course, and make sure to subscribe, hit the like button and all that good stuff. Um, because it really helps out the channel, helps out me, of course. Tell me what you want to see next, which I, mm, seems like Multi Monster might be next, which I'm excited by. But, hope you guys have a great day. Peace out!